stories are present in life everybody likes stories if you if you see to the movie you really want to see the stories right and and if you are a kid and you want to sleep you really want a story on your mother's voice and and the stories are has many effects on on humans they very interesting they very intimate they are calming so you name it the the emotions of the the large range is there and i think it's really important to stay, say a story in your own own method or, or with your own tools and my tool is of course the textile and if I collect textile pieces from the past or from other unknown people then it is the part of the history and really part of the big human story how can we live here in the earth and and how can we em embellish our 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 environment or 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 place when you leave and how what is the homemaking really I, I live uh, in New Brunswick, in, in rural New Brunswick, in the countryside, which is really similar and different in the same time. My first home, which was in Hungary countryside many years ago, but uh, I'm privileged to live here now, but uh, uh, as a woman and as an artist, I was able to make many homes in my in my lifetime because I really strongly believe the the home and uh, the connection to the to the locals or connection to the place where you live is very very important and it gives you a pleasure and it gives you a, a rootedness and and it's a necessary thing to have to you and to your immediate surroundings. You can, uh, you can call it family or group of people or those kind of community that you belongs to. If I thinking of my material, the textile, which is my main activities to make textile pieces, I especially like to do large ones, which is a little different than to, to make a palm full of little, little drawings or, or work on textile. If you think large, like, more than one meter with this technique it's you need to know your material really really well because the linen or the silk or the wool respond differently for your effort to to make a drawing or or make a nice surface with with needlework and if you do them they pays back a thousand times your knowledge because it's really, really um, rewarding to work. So these are my steel copy nets and I have the collection of threads, the silk threads, what I really like to use. Some of them died by me, some of them just bought, some of them in skein, 
And if you you see this one, so these are the the what I what I dyed because sometimes I need to produce those canes which are uneven, like like if you have a line to embroider and it's need the, the color and the intensity of the line, you can do it this this kind of treatment. So, so the, this red fragment is originally made from the Mont Saint Vincent University Art Gallery because they had an exhibition about disabilities and the artist's relations to disability. And that was my statement, paralleling my work, my very early work in Canada to compare the, my Hungarian heritage with the red um, embroidery patterns what was in pillowcases and I cut it for pieces and made, made a, an American quilt, a North American uh, star shaped pattern quilts. And in parallel it was the, my, my mother-in-law's struggle with the, with the stroke and how she recovered and how, how we can see through her embroidery work this, this process and, and what the human brain able to do if, if, if she has a tool and motivation. So the, the tool was the, the old embroidery skill and motivation was the love, of course, because she wanted to see us one more time, one more time and meet and talk about the pattern and her, her, her process and developing the, the, the work because I encouraged him, her, really strongly to do it because this is beautiful, it's even beautiful than the, than the perfect pattern and if, you can see I will show you here. So it, it was a beautiful, uh, redocumented human struggle and effort how to make sense your life again. And this is a very simple, this, this element of the pattern is, is repeating. So, and, and he always, she always did it in, in, from, from, without, without the, the layout, without the pattern, because it was in her head. And then when he wanted to reproduce again after the stroke, he ended up to make these mistakes, you see? So, so he, she just, just, just couldn't follow the pattern anymore because her brain was, was not the, the old one. So, so these patterns are, are went differently, but she struggled to put it together somehow. And so here, this, so this, this nice unregularities, irregularities are, makes the piece really, really unique and, and uh, very human. All, all life, what's around me is, is influenced for me because I really like to live my life fully. So I engaged different activities. My family is very important to me. And, uh, and how can you make a good family around you? You need to be a good cook, you good storyteller, and, and those kind of skills what I just mentioned already. Um, and somehow on in instinct in unconsciously and instinctly just just goes into my art. I don't know how. Sometimes I know how, but sometimes I have no idea why why I did it. I just felt it's right to, to do that.
Hungarian, but not, not really North American either. So who am I? Because if you are an artist, I think it's, it's an, an endless journey to find yourself, find true self, how, how you live your life and what you want to share.